Hi there. How are you? We keep talking about ETs all the time. And uh, since I don't feel like showing my mug, I figured, what the heck? This green guy. And the planet being red, I guess we're to assume he's a Martian. Although who that red planet is in his sky, I don't know. Anyhow, um, I had a really special thing happen yesterday. And I wanted to be sure to get it into one of my journals. Now today is 8 Jaguar, which is a very special day. For me anyway, it's a powerful day. Uh, but it might have happened, I guess yesterday I think was 7 Reed. Anyway, um, I think I was watching a, a Papa G video and sudden I, I was I was taken into joy um, and laughter. He he could be called the laughing guru or saint. <laughs> and uh, suddenly it came down from above. The words came through me, but uh, it was higher self speaking to the body and giving it permission to let go of all of its dis-ease, all of its illness, all of its uh, out of alignment states. It was talking to the body and saying, it's okay, you don't have to keep that, you don't have to retain that any longer. It's okay, slip back into your perfection. It was amazing. It was a really amazing thing to witness. And I don't have anything else in my experience that's like it, so I, I ha the mind has nothing to compare it to. Anyway, I wanted to uh, to share that. It's funny, we love those things that bypass the mind. They feel so very special. In a way, it's still us. In a way, it's still mind even if you want to say that the higher self is the super conscious. But it's not really necessary to understand these things. Uh, whenever we think we have an understanding, it usually turns out to be inadequate anyway. Later we see how it, it wasn't a proper reflection of reality. It seems like reality itself is too wonderful, too transcendent for the mind to ever really grasp or comprehend. We can do it in heart. We connect with it and we see it from the inside. The mind is always seeing things from the outside. It's observing things. But the life of awakening is experiential. It's, it's not something we get from books or videos or talking green-headed beings. I think it's really going to be funny, folks, when we wake up to all of our various incarnations and we get past our beliefs and attitudes and opinions enough to be willing to see all the kind of bodies that we've worn before. Oh my God, what a hoot. Oh, so funny. We'll have the Star Trek bar scene only. <laughs> it'll, it'll be a lot better than that. They, they didn't have a high enough vision of what it is like. You see, we bring all these various beings together in ourselves. So there are civilizations here, there, and elsewhere that don't get along and so on, that don't understand one another, and yet as we incarnate into them, 
we bring them together within and experientially and with a deep understanding with love we bring love to that and so all the separations all the divisions are healed within it's so joyous I mean, why else would we be willing to endure such pain and grief and difficulty and awkwardness and, 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 you know, why would we do this? Well, you've got to think that the pendulum has got to swing in at least equally opposite direction so that the joy and the bliss and all of that uh, is in balance with the suffering. So for starters, that part's nice. That's a comfort that even mine can appreciate. Although when mine sees something like that, it's not that it's feeling it. Heart is so much better because when heart apprehends something, comprehends it it's uh it's so much deeper it, it's just the difference between experience and thought and they are vastly different how does muji say it uh don't let the mind leave the lap of the heart i think that's beautiful together oh my god majesty we're majestic. We really are when we're complete. Okay, so do I have anything else this day? Maybe not. Maybe that's enough. I usually yak on and on and on, but you know, that's not necessary. So, see you again soon. Good day.